Good morning. Good morning. I am Steve Kang, organizer of this symposium. I'm uh, from uh, University of California, Merced campus. Uh, and I'm most pleased that you could come uh, to the second Memristor and the Memristive Symposium. I'd like to thank especially National Science Foundation for sponsoring uh, this symposium two years in a row, especially Professor Pinaki Mazumdar from the uh, University of Michigan, who served as the program director at National Science Foundation. And uh, under his leadership and the support, we've been able to hold this uh, symposium two years in a row. Hewlett Packard, uh, with the help uh, from uh, Dr. Stan Williams, was also able to sponsor uh, this uh, symposium starting from last year. And uh, I also thank the University of California system, in particular for UC Merced, who gave uh, some release of my time. And uh, our staff support, uh, Tim Preciado, and uh, Dr. Sang Ho Sin uh, from UC Merced. And the University of California, Berkeley, uh, College of Engineering, under the leadership of uh, Dean Shankar Sastry, and uh, also Citrus, uh, under the leadership of uh, Director Paul Wright, uh, who is just arrived. Uh, and uh, most importantly, I'd like to thank uh, nine speakers uh, for today's symposium. And uh, then uh, tomorrow uh, afternoon, we will also have 11 posters uh, presented. And uh, many poster presentations uh, represent uh, all over the world, uh, some from China, some from uh, Finland, some from Italy, some from England, and uh, Korea, uh, and the United States. So you can see since the beginning of a symposium, uh, the research on Memristor and the Memristor system uh, has uh, propagated uh, throughout the world. Um, so I'm very glad that uh, we have uh, some uh, impact uh, through this uh, gathering and the dissemination of uh, information. Today's uh, session so will uh, cover mainly four areas. One is uh, theory, mem resistor, mem capacitor, mem inductance, and the technologies uh, from uh, Hewlett Packard, as well as NIST, uh, among others. And then systems design concepts, uh, mem based circuits and the systems. And then lastly, uh, technology roadmap presented by Semiconductor Research Corporation Senior Vice President <coughs> Steve Lanius. Uh, and then uh, at the end, uh, we will have a panel discussion. So I hope uh, all of you can participate uh, in the panel discussion. So with that introduction, I'd next like to invite uh, Citrus Director, uh, Director Paul Wright, uh, for his support. Paul? Good morning, everyone. I'd like to make a brief welcome. Uh, you're in this uh, Citrus building in the Sitaj Dai Hall, and it's been my pleasure working with uh, Chancellor Kang to launch Citrus over the last 10 years. I wanted to make a, an, an invitation for you to uh, enjoy walking around the building during the conference. Uh, you'll see we have a wide range of academic departments here, as well as the FAB, that pertains very much to your field of expertise. So this is not a university building with just one department. We have all ranges of engineering, but also we have people from public policy, from the law school, and from the Berkeley Center for New Media in this building. And so it's a multidisciplinary activity. The second aspect is very important. We have industry offices in this building from companies like Hewlett Packard that uh, Professor uh, Kang just mentioned. And so the tradition of Citrus is to have academics uh, taking off their jackets, rolling up their shirt sleeves, and working alongside our industry colleagues, many of whom are here today. And then thirdly, we have people from the California Energy Commission that have offices in this building, and from the California Institute of Health in Sacramento in this building because two of our big areas in Citrus are in energy and the environment and healthcare. 
So one of the reasons I especially wanted to speak today and to invite you to be part of this building, to join the family of Citrus, is that we're undertaking together this really grand adventure in which it's not just the academics writing academic papers for other academics. I mean, that's what we did in previous centuries. But we're uh, an academic group working alongside industry and working alongside these important uh, representatives from Sacramento that are part of our legislative body. So please enjoy the building. Uh, please enjoy the coffee bar. There's a coffee bar downstairs. We have a Pete's coffee bar downstairs. And uh, there's a very nice environment for you to enjoy the, um, the facility here. The, the lab that pertains to your work in particular is on the fifth floor, so you can take a look in there and see that we're moving a large number of microfabrication devices into that area. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. I wanted to offer a warm welcome. There's lots of staff around if you need to call family, friends, or back to your departments, back to your companies. We just want to be a good host and a good, uh, a good welcoming environment for you here today. So thank you so much for coming. Professor Kang, thank you so much. Thank you. Professor Kang, thank you. Very thank you. Uh, Paul, oh, so in uh, recognition of your great support, we prepared a little... Oh, how wonderful. Yes, That's very nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. So now